The judge says, Mr. Rojinski, call your next witness. Your Honor, I called Dr. Jones to the witness stand, my medical expert. The defense lawyer jumps up and yells out, objection, judge. He can't testify. This guy was a doctor in training at the time of the malpractice. You want to learn what this is all about and whether or not the judge is going to allow this doctor to testify? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Ojinski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. There may be an instance where now we hired medical expert to testify. And now at the time of the malpractice, when this occurred, this doctor, this expert, just so happened to be a doctor in training. They call them residents. There may be an instance where we hire a medical expert to now come in to testify to the jury about why the treatment rendered by this doctor, by your doctor, was inappropriate. And as a result of that carelessness, now you suffered all these terrible injuries. But what happens if this young doctor happened to have been a doctor in training at the time that the wrongdoing actually happened? Is he allowed? Can he testify? Well, the argument is by the defense, listen, this guy didn't know what the standards of care were at the time that this incident happened five years ago. He was still a young doctor in training. He wasn't allowed to practice on his own yet. He wasn't licensed. He wasn't board certified. So how can we now allow that doctor, even though he may be licensed now, even though he may be board certified now, how can we allow that doctor to testify to this jury about what the standards of care were five years earlier when he was simply a baby, not really a baby, but a doctor in training under the supervision of other doctors? Now you should know there is case law in New York that allows a judge the ability to go ahead and allow this medical expert to testify. The judge will turn around and likely say, listen, he's board certified now, he's licensed to practice now, in all likelihood he's going to say that he read up on what the standards of care were five years earlier. And based upon his knowledge, based upon his training, now he can go ahead and give those opinions. And he's, then he's going to say, listen, it'll be a question of fact for the jury to decide whether or not this doctor is qualified, whether or not this doctor has the credentials and the training necessary to talk about what happened five years earlier. Mr. Defense Attorney, you can certainly cross-examine this doctor to your heart's content about the fact that he was not licensed and board certified five years earlier when this incident actually happened. And then we'll go ahead and he'll be allowed to testify. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what can happen in a medical malpractice trial here in New York. You know, I understand you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you have not started a lawsuit yet because you still have questions that need answers, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at ojinski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Ojinski. Have a fantastic day.